Polara is definitely a brand that's been around for quite some time and I'm so excited to be reviewing some of their dresses for you in this video. We got a couple of great active wear dresses as well as some more like casual slash going out dresses. Some of these dresses I bought for spring because I thought they would just be girly and cute and fun so I'm excited to try them on and show them to you guys. Others are ones that I bought in the past but all of these dresses are available on their website now and as always with my videos I will be trying them on and giving you my honest feedback on what I think. If you're new here welcome my name is Veronica and I make videos centered around fashion, travel, and sometimes beauty. Primarily we do clothing reviews and lookbooks here. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and join the family. I post videos every other Sunday. Without further ado let's go ahead and get into this review. As a disclaimer, this video isn't affiliated with Halara at all. I actually did work with them a year ago on a video, but this time around I went ahead and made my own purchases for all these pieces. I wanted to make sure I was getting every piece that I wanted. Here are my measurements on the screen for your reference. They'll also be in the description box below. Here we have the first dress. This is one of the ones I've never tried on, so I'm curious to see how it fits. This is the backless cutout two-in-one pocket flare mini dance app dress and this is the easy peasy edition which means the shorts underneath are actually separated in the midsection so you can easily like pull them down when you need to use the restroom which I think is so clever for them to come up with because honestly going to the bathroom and having to take off your whole romper, sports dress, jumpsuit, anything is like the biggest moment. I got this dress in a size medium and it is $54.95 retail and of course I got the white color. I believe it also comes in black. The material for this dress is 82% nylon and 18% elastane and that is the case for all the dresses we're going to be trying. They really do stick to the same fabric for most of their items. For some of the features you can see here the shorts underneath the back is detached and that's that easy peasy feature I mentioned on the shorts we also have inside pockets on each side. You do have butterfly sleeves here which are so cute and girly I love. And then in the back you do have that backless design that's supposed to be very aesthetic and then this dress does come with cup pads. But let's go ahead and try this one on. So here we have the dress and honestly aesthetics are on point but the sizing is not. Let me just go into it a little bit. So this neckline is so beautiful and I love these ruffles. You can see there's a little bit of seams going down here and then it stops and then it goes out into the dress. It does have a slight A-line effect which is nice. Here we have the back. Beautiful. I love this little detail here. I think it just has a very feminine cut and it's very flattering. You do have the shorts underneath. The shorts don't dig in whatsoever, but again, this dress is slightly too big for me. It does fit my phone here. I think in general, it's just too big. Here at the bodysuit, it really just has a lot of extra fabric. You can pull this out for the easy peasy version, but this does have so much extra fabric and even just the top is too big. So just something to to keep in mind I would recommend this dress but I would also recommend sizing down. Let's go ahead and check out the next active dress. For the next active wear dress here we have it. It's this beautiful red salsa color and this is one of the ones I bought before and I honestly wear this all the time. So this is the backless twisted flare mini dance active dress and it is for double D, triple D or F cups. I myself have a double D chest size so I really wanted to try out this dress and I really like that they offer active dresses that are more inclusive. This dress is in a size medium and I got it for $49.95. And this is their salsa color but it does come in a lot of different colors. Same material 82% nylon 18% elastane. In the back you can see it has this very open back feature with a twist in the middle which just gives it that dainty look and of course you'll see it more like when I try it on. This is an active dress so it does have the shorts underneath with the side pockets as well but this is not the easy peasy version and this does have removable bust pads as well and again the bust area just has way more surface area for your chest and I can even 
say, usually I have to size up to a medium because of my chest. So I should have just done the small version of this. The medium still fits me okay, it just doesn't hug me as much as it could. But with that, let's try this on. So here is the next active dress and this is such a beautiful color. I am obsessed. Going into the top, you can see you have like a slight scoop here and there is just way more room for a bigger chest size. The top part is pretty simple and then it goes down to a seam and then it goes out in a slight A shape. You got that beautiful crisscross detail, which is just very flattering and it's just very much spring and summer. This dress is also a medium like the last active boy dress, but this one does not feel too big for me. I could do a size small because there's zero restriction in this dress. Like I mentioned, it doesn't have that easy peasy feature. So I think it's just a structure thing. Underneath, of course you have those shorts, but everything is completely sewn together like standard active wear dresses. There is zero pinching going on underneath and you do have those side pockets as well. But again, there is a lot of extra room and fabric. So you could do a size smaller or you could do a size bigger. I feel like you could go either way with the regular active wear dresses. For me, I opted to go larger and it works just fine. I'm just really obsessed with this one. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the next dress. So moving away from active wear dresses, this is something that's more fancy, but still obviously semi-casual because it's not fancy material or anything like that. But the cut is definitely more appropriate for like a night out or maybe even a wedding. As you can see, I haven't tried this one on either, so it's gonna be a true first impression. This is the Ruched Backless Crisscross Lace-Up Split Bodycon Midi Casual Dress. Halara always has long titles. And this is in a size medium medium and I got this for $34.95. This is the color Fig, but they offer this dress in a lot of different colors. The material again is the same nylon elastane mix. For the features, of course, you have that ruche detail here, which just adds like a little interest to the dress. And then in the back, you do have this lace-up feature. The dress is a little bit longer as you can see, and the skirt does have a slit here that helps elongate the body. And there are removable bust pads as well. This is just their standard dress, no like double D feature or anything like that. And of course this has no liner shorts, it's just a regular dress. It doesn't have adjustable straps, which is a little disappointing because it's advertised to have adjustable straps, but it doesn't. The straps are still really stretchy, so I'm not really concerned about it. Other than that, let's go ahead and try this baby on. So we have the dress on and I just wanted to show you me tying the straps. So you see how it looks here and then you tie it and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it just matches you. You know what I mean? It's cute. Honestly, this is so flattering. It's probably the most flattering dress I own. In the top, again, we have this really cute, almost sweetheart neckline, just kind of like dips a little bit. And then of course you have the removable bust pads. These straps are very, very stretchy. It's honestly like wearing a sports bra. So very comfortable and I think it's very flattering. You have like the ruching detail that is the namesake of this dress. Then of course, like I showed you, the tying is what actually sucks you in a little bit and then my tattoo kind of messes with it but you can see it here as well and then you've got that beautiful tie feature in the back which is stunning and then of course the rest of the dress just really hugs your figure it's what it looks like in the back you have that slit here which just adds a little bit of elegance and elongation and the dress ends at about mid calf i should have bought this one way sooner because honestly it smashes it it is that stretchy athletic material. I'm not wearing any shapewear underneath this so this is just kind of how the figure looks. It doesn't really like suck in any kind of lower belly fat but just wanted to be candid and show you that as well. I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with the back. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's giving like classic and elegant but still sexy so this is definitely a top pick for me. Now on to the next dress. Last but not least, we have this dress, which is another red number. And this is like more of a casual dress, not too fancy, but definitely not an athletic wear dress. This is their spaghetti strap square neck backless corset split bodycon midi casual dress. 
and this is in a size small and it's in that same color salsa. I got this for $34.95 and the material is the same 82% nylon and 18% elastane. So it still has that athletic feel. If you have a casual outing to go to, this could be a good option to still be comfortable but cute. As they mentioned, you have that square neckline here. It's still like slightly scooped here. It's not like super square, but it does kind of have that vibe once it's on. Once it's on. <laughs> this dress is shorter than the last and yet it's still advertised as midi and I don't agree with that. It goes slightly over the knees, which isn't a midi dress. I don't think, um, comment if I'm wrong on that. I totally could be. And the skirt does have a tiny slit here that's supposed to help elongate. For the back, it's just kind of like your typical like tank top design. Again, it's advertised as backless design, which I don't agree that this is backless. So some of Halara's descriptions aren't totally on par. This also does not have adjustable straps and no shorts underneath and there's also a no bust padding here very bare bones kind of vibe this is the corset dress so you can see kind of that corset shape here but don't get it twisted there's no actual corset boning here to do what normal corsets usually do i did get this in a size small rather than a medium like all the other dresses it'll be interesting to see how it compares especially with this chest area being a little bit shorter it may not fit quite right but we won't know until we try it on so let's go ahead and try this dress on. All right, so we have the last dress on and I love the color. So you can see this is still like a very skin hugging dress like the last one. Going into the top, it says it's a square neckline. I would say this is still a little bit more scooped for me. Then it does go underneath the bust here. You can see my bust actually doesn't quite fit. It goes a little bit underneath. So when I adjust, it's a little bit better, but again, it still cuts into my chest. Not super big cup size friendly, but it's not the worst. And then you do have this corset style right underneath the bust here. There's honestly nothing going on here that's actually pushing anything in like a corset. This is just a seam. There's no sort of boning or anything like that. And I kind of don't love this dress. Probably my least favorite out of the haul because of how the corset kind of stops right here and then there's no lower tummy control. I do carry some weight on my lower stomach so I feel like this dress kind of highlights that. Again, I'm not wearing any sort of spandex or shorts underneath to help that. I just wanted to show you what this dress looks like on with nothing underneath. You can see that there is a slit here and this dress actually goes above the knees so it's not midi length like advertised and then when you go to the back. This is what it looks like. Pretty standard. I guess it is kind of open back. It looks more open once it's on, but I just really don't love how it clings to my lower stomach. And honestly, that's probably one because of the material and how it clings to you, but two because of the lighter color. It's not going to be able to conceal as many curves as the past darker dress can. Don't get me wrong. I think the concept is still cute. And of course I love the color of the dress, but just when to give my honest feedback here. Not my favorite, but thought it was worth a try. That is gonna complete today's video. It's a little bit of a shorter one, but I do have other videos in the works for you guys, like a pretty lengthy, wonder active athletic apparel review, which I'm really excited for. Thank you for spending some time with me today, and I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any brands you'd like me to review, or if you have any comments, feedback, or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you do like this video, please give this video a like. It helps push this out to more people and thus helps this channel keep going. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you feel inclined to. Again, would love to have you join the family here. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next Sunday that I post. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!